Vendor management is such a critical part of our industry and a common pitfall is agents don't communicate to their sellers the sharp contrast and dichotomy between conditional offers and unconditional offers. Now, of course, we must submit all offers, whether they're verbal, email, SMS, or even on a signed contract. However, during your set to sell meeting or before submitting offers, it's absolutely critical that if it is a conditional offer or if it's just placed on an email or SMS that you do talk the owner through the fact that at the moment this is an anticipated offer it's not a formal or unconditional offer and it could go either way but let's still make a decision on it now the best part about an unconditional offer which is on a signed contract with a waiver of the cooling off period and a deposit is you've got a very compelling case when you're sitting with the client and providing a recommendation assuming the campaign has done Done very well and has provided a comprehensive and compelling campaign. Therefore, you've earned the right to make a firm recommendation as the client's trusted advisor in that situation.